story time, would you call this cheating? So a little background information, I was 16 and a sophomore in high school, and I was dating this guy who we're gonna call Tom, right? When we started dating, everything was super good, but a little bit into our relationship, I started to get the ick. Anything and everything he would do would literally irritate the hell out of me. So at that point, I told him that we should take a break. So we did. Well, while we were on this little break, I decided to go out with my cousin the one night, and she had brought this guy who she was talking to at the time. We're gonna call him Jake. Jake and I have the same classes in school, but we never really talk to each other. Well, I started to get to know him throughout the night, and I realized we had a lot in common. I felt like he was flirting with me, so I decided to flirt with him. When we got home, I had told her how much I really liked Jake. We ended up FaceTiming and falling asleep on the phone together. We all hung out again the next day, and I invited him back to my house. Like for part two. Would you consider this cheating part two? So like I said, we all decided to hang out again the next day. It was really cold out, so I invited everybody back to my house. And when we got back to my house, we were watching horror films. And I was cuddling next to Jake on the couch. And listen, I wanted to kiss him really bad, but Tom and I had just gotten done with our so-called break. So I decided to be loyal and not do that. Well, a few days after Jake and I talking, I realized that I wanted to be with him and not Tom. So I decided to end things with Tom and now Jake and I have been together for a year and two months and we couldn't be happier. But every time that we bring up Tom, Jake always tells me that I cheated on him. Would you consider what I did cheat? My coworker and I have been hooking up and we're both married. I asked him to end things, but he doesn't want to. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It's going to be on Instagram. I work in retail and my hours are really long. I usually work 10 to 12 hour days and things got really complicated a few months ago. Let's call him Jake. Jake and I have been working together for almost a year. As soon as I met him, I was super attracted to him and I could tell that he was attracted to me because there was always tension between us. He would always make jokes about me being his work wife and it's kind of true. We mostly hung out together at work and sometimes we would even go to fancy restaurants for our lunch breaks. It was all really fun until I realized that I started getting feelings for him. So I decided to tell him the truth. Once again, we went to a really nice restaurant to have lunch. And as soon as we sat down, I told him I had feelings for him and that the best thing for me to do would be to transfer to a different store. Then he begged me not to switch stores. And he confessed that he also had feelings for me too. I told him that it was obvious he had feelings for me, but it was wrong for us to even talk about it. Then he grabbed my hand and asked me if we could just hook up once. I said yes, and he immediately booked a hotel. We spent our lunch hour at that hotel. And it was amazing. Part two is up. I've been hooking up with my coworker and we're both married. I asked him to end things and he said no. Disclaimer is not my story time, it's gonna be on Instagram. After we hooked up at the hotel, we were addicted to each other. He started showing up a half hour early to work to just make out in his car. And for lunch without fail, we would always go to the same hotel which was near our store. It was so fun and exciting. But here's the thing. He has his wife and I have my husband. A little about me and my husband. We've been married for over 10 years and the relationship has become really stale. My husband never really touches me or even flirts with me at all. He's always focused on work. He started traveling for work last year and it actually made the relationship better. Having him at home was so annoying. He never made the effort to talk to me and when I would ask him what was up he would just get really angry. One time I tried to kiss him and he actually pushed me away. So you can see that I was pretty neglected. Jake told me that his wife and him basically have the same relationship as my husband and I. He even told me that he's not attracted to her and that they never even had chemistry before. Their parents pressured them into getting married and he had to go with it. But I'm gonna choose to trust that he's telling the truth. Remember I said my husband was traveling for work? Eventually I started inviting Jake over to my house whenever we had days off. He was in charge of scheduling so he would manage to give us some free time together. And no one at the store ever suspected anything of him and I. Before I knew it, I was completely in love with my coworker. Sometimes he'd come over and we'd just watch movies and eat lots of food. We were in a relationship. Part three is up. I hook up my coworker and I have been hooking up and we're both married. I asked him to end things, but he said no. Disclaimers did not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. After months of him coming to my house and us going to hotels, I was fully in love with this man. One day my husband comes back from a work trip and starts apologizing. He tells me he knows he's been neglectful and that he promises to change. I asked asked him if he was interested in someone else and he said no. He told me he's been depressed but he didn't want to tell me. And now he's on medication and he's feeling a lot better. And he asked me to give him a second chance. Every single part of me wanted to blurt out that I was in love with somebody else. But I just didn't have the heart to do it. So I said yes to giving him another chance. The next day I saw Jake and I told him that I couldn't keep going. Then he flat out said no. He said that he had already asked his wife for a divorce and that he wanted to marry me. And then he told me that he loved me, which was the first time he'd ever said it. And I told him that I loved him too. Then he gave me a beautiful promise ring. He told me I need to leave my husband so that we could be together. I really want to, but I can't see myself leaving my husband, especially knowing that he was depressed. So here's what I did. I told my husband that I had waited for him too long and that I just simply wasn't in love with him anymore. He agreed to give me the divorce, but he still wants to live together. How can I tell my husband that I'm in love with somebody else? Help me, what should I do?
My 29 female, husband 32 male of 3 years said something I can't move on from. We have a job that requires us to wake up very early in the morning. That's how we met. He usually wakes up before me and makes me breakfast. He's been doing this since we got married. He's sweet and caring like that. He's also the funniest, genuine, and friendliest person I know. I love him and know that he loves me back. Our relationship has always been stable. Now, I'm not so sure. This morning while we were having breakfast, he calmly asked me to kill him if I ever caught him cheating. I initially brushed it off as a joke and replied, likewise. Then he said that he'd kill me if he found me cheating and he would enjoy it. I didn't know how to react. I just got chills. He's never been like this and I can't imagine him saying things like this. All day at work, I've been thinking, what did I do wrong? Did he read my messages and find something off? Did he see me talking with someone inappropriately? I don't know. What should I say to him? You don't. You listen to your gut and you run away. Here are some facts that could one day save your life. If you ever fall off the edge of a subway platform and can't get back up, try to find this crawl space underneath and stay there until the train leaves. If your house ever smells like fish for no reason, there's a high chance that there's an electrical fire somewhere. If you're in danger and you need to break a car window, don't hit it in the middle. Do it on the edge instead because usually they're made of tempered glass which means that they're more fragile on the edge. If you're in a country outside of America and need help but don't know the emergency number, call 112. That's the international emergency number and it'll connect you to the nearest helpline. The more vividly colorful an animal is, the more likely that it's poisonous, which means you probably shouldn't eat it. And last on the list, if a tornado looks like it's not moving, it's actually moving towards you. So in that case, get out immediately and follow for more. Story time about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So a little background information, I was 15 and in ninth grade, and we're gonna call my boyfriend Alex. Alex and I have been together for six months beginning of our relationship his best friend who we're gonna call caleb him and i literally despised each other but alex would always want all three of us to hang out so we decided that we had to get along so we decided to keep it civil only when we were with alex well fast forward all of a sudden caleb's grown ass sister starts hanging out with caleb and alex 24 7 and it was weird because she was like a senior hanging out with a freshman but i didn't think anything of it at first well then, out of nowhere, while I was at school, like a week later, he says that him and I need to have a talk. So we start walking away from Caleb, and as we're walking away, Caleb looks at me and gives me like this good luck look. Then he told me that he wanted us to take a break. Like for part two. Part two about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So like I said, he tells me that we need to talk, and then he goes, I think we should take a break. Like, what do you mean, take a break? Well, funny thing, throughout this whole break, he was still being touchy with me, still acting like we were in a whole ass relationship. And the whole time, I was acting like I was fine, so that way I didn't want him to feel bad for me and felt like he had to get back together with me. And he was acting like nothing happened. Like I said, it was getting to the point where all my friends had started asking if him and I were back together. And I had to be like, no, we're not back together yet. Well, then Friday rolls around, aka two weeks later, and he tells me that he misses me. Shocker. So then he said he wanted to get back together. I said yes, obviously, because I still really liked him and I was a dumbass not to see the red flags. Well, now that it was second time around of us being together, I started to notice the first flags that I didn't notice in the beginning of our relationship. Like the one time he went to the mall with his friends and he gave these girls his Snapchat. He wasn't going to tell me about it, but then his friends told me, like, for part three. Part three about how my boyfriend cheated on me with his best friend's sister. So like I said, I started noticing red flags. Well, when I had confronted him about the Snapchat thing, he told me that he felt bad if he didn't give it to them because he didn't want to be mean. Another red flag is that he would never, ever, 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 ever let me touch his phone. Like if he even saw my eyes look at his phone for 0.2 seconds, he would grab it real quick. Anyways, back to him getting with Caleb's sister. When we had got back together after our break, this one girl came up to me and she was like, hey, I have to tell you something. I didn't think it was going to be anything about my relationship with Alex, but here we go. She goes, he broke up with you to hook up with some other girl. So obviously I'm fuming. I go up to him and I'm like, did you break up with me to go and hook up with another girl? He goes, that's in the past. Why are you mad about it? Like we were broken up. Clearly he thought it was okay just to break up whenever you want to go do shit with someone else. Apparently she said that they could do stuff if we broke up. But I ended up finding out that she does this to all of her little brother's friends.